and its blades with the ball. He shoots and... <clears throat> Denied! Heat wave, why do you have to be so competitive? It's just a game. A game designed to hone our rescue skills by keeping us sharp and ready for anything. Anything, eh? Quick shadow? I didn't even know she was on the island. Uh, I'd like to see you try that again without all your fancy tech. Oh, please. I could beat you with two servers tied behind my back. Ho oh, ho! Trash talking! A staple at human sporting events. I shall join in. Refuse, waste product, banana peel! Wait, is that a person on the wing? For some reason, he's holding a briefcase. Perhaps he is trying to avoid paying excess baggage fees? A routine patrol with four bats and chases. He's a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human. Still hanging on. Got him in our sights. Not anymore. Got him on a thermal read. Likely point of impact. Corner of March and Lake. Copy that. We're close by. The name's Danger. Maven Danger. No. Oh. What on earth is he doing here? Wait, you know him? Not exactly, but he knows me, sort of. I better keep back. Wait, 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 wait. The Maven Danger? Secret agent and international action star? My childhood, my adulthood hero? I am your biggest fan. That line forms to the right. But how did you manage to survive that fall? The usual. Parachute concealed in a pen. Not a bad stunt, eh? Stunt? That's what this was? You compromised your own safety and my team's. I'm even danger action set piece is never about safety. It's about flash and daring do. Easy for you to say, MD, when I'm the one doing all the daring. Not that I'm complaining. The idea for the stunt was genius. I think I know him. Well, doy, he's Maven Danger. I mean the other guy. Hi, I'm Danny Burns. I think we went to school together? Danny, I remember you. I'm Skip. My family moved from here when I was about six. And now you're a stunt double? As well as my manager, publicist, and all-around facilitator. But I always heard that you did your own stunts. Oh, I, I could, and would. But the studio insists on protecting their investment. Uh, uh, do you think that I could? Certainly. There you go. You sign your autograph, Maven Danger. Isn't your real name Murray Dorfhauser? Um, Maven always stays in character when researching a role. That's part of his genius. Uh-huh. Well, welcome back, Skip. I remember your dad, Obi Scobble. He was an antiques dealer, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. Growing up here was what made me think this would be the perfect place for Maven to do research for his next movie. Maven Danger, licensed to rescue. After hearing about your family's reputation, I said there's only one team I'd like to train with for my role. The Hearns family. Well, flattering as that is, the Burns family is not your typical rescue team. Our vehicles are state-of-the-art. Robots, transform. Great idea for the film! Of course, our robots will be in CG. They'll look much better. What I mean is, there are all sorts of risks if you work with us. You'll need clearance from the mayor's office and... Already done. Mayor even said we can move into the firehouse to get a real insider's view. 
And the studio is happy to make a generous donation to your firehouse fund for your trouble. Dad, please, for me, Daddy. We could use new equipment, Dad. <sighs> okay, I'll give you three days. I'm counting on you to keep him on a short leash and protect the bot's cover. How can we fulfill our duties with a stranger in our midst? Simple, we can't. This is a horrible idea. I think it'll be fun. I always wanted to meet a real movie star. At least it's only for three days. And it's not like we aren't used to the old pretend to be machines routine. I just wanted ah! to inform you lot. I'll be taking the ground bridge back to the mainland until Maven Danger is gone. Why'd you have to duck out so fast in the first place? I'm pretty sure it's because of this. Look familiar? That's right! You scanned Maven's Ostley Benton for your vehicle mode! So if he sees you, your undercover status will be in jeopardy. Exactly. Better to duck out and... Um, really nothing to see in there. Just the rescue robots. Might be too late for that. Ah, look, my Osley Benton. The studio must have sent it over. Apparently, nobody told me. Yeah, 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 come on. We'll show you how a real rescue team lives. Guess you're sticking around. Next time, I'm scanning a pilotless drone. And this is our living quarters. Well, some would call it living, I suppose. Cody, the studio would love some behind-the-scenes footage of Maven learning the ropes, but I gotta scout locations downtown. Can you film them for a while? Me? Noble! You could stay in my room! I'll just crash with the, uh, the, the downstairs. Modest, no frills, borderline primitive. Not what I'm used to, but it will help me get into the role. An actor prepares. Hey, recognize this? The Maven Danger Junior Ranger briefcase. Check it. Spy goggles, visible ink, the shoe camera. It was my favorite. Mine too. I got three simoleons for every one of those silly things. Paid for my beach house. Have Skip send up my things, would you, Clyde? Danger. How can you not be a fan? How can you still be a fan after meeting him? It is not easy being him. Paparazzi, wherever he goes, the pressure of being in the spotlight. It's no excuse for being obnoxious. Saddle up, team. We have an emergency at the library. Yo, Maven, we have an emergency. Ah, perfect chance to see some rescue action up close, man. Where's Maven? Isn't the whole point of him being here to research a rescue team in action? Yeah, but apparently he's doing research on sleeping instead. Hey, acting is exhausting. Maybe. Probably. Chief, may I ask, what is the nature of the library emergency? I got a call from Ms. Lima. She was working late and someone broke in. I told her do not engage the intruder, knowing her. Young man, the rare book section is off limits, and the library is closed. Uh-oh. Code red, guys. The fire alarm got triggered. Ms. Lima's locked in the rare book room. An alarm in the library? Ms. Lima must be shushing it like crazy. It's worse than that. 
When the fire alarm's activated, all the oxygen gets sucked from the room to protect the books. Ah, because a fire requires oxygen. Unfortunately, so do people. If we don't get Ms. Lima out soon, there won't be any air left for her to breathe. Help! Help! Someone! The lockdown mechanism. I'll try to deactivate it. Or we could just... And now it will never unlock. Okay, stand back. There goes our perk. Too thick. No more fooling around. Power up and energize. Okay, deep breaths, Ms. Lima. We chased the intruder, but he got away. Cody, the library security footage tell us anything? It's weird. The guy searched the rare books, then just scrolled through the computer catalog. I do not understand. Why would a thief target a library? Are the books not already free to use? Maybe you wanted to do some late night reading. I know how that is but I usually just borrow a book from Cody. How about a lift home, Ms. Lima? I'll get my things. Thanks. You're welcome. Shh. Sorry. Habit. Good morning, rescue team. What's on the schedule? Actually, it's afternoon, and the schedule is pretty much cleanup and maintenance. Maven, would you like to- Yes, I'm starving. Mm. Is this peanut butter and bacon? Well, I'm ready to pitch in. Here you go. My pleasure. I'm not charging you for that, so don't be selling it online. Now, any rescues that require my heroism? Yeah, last night, while you were sleeping. Now look, Mr. Danger Eye. Chief, mind if I borrow Maven for some test shots around town? And Cody, if you're up for it. You bet! guy is nothing like his hero character in the movies. That's putting it mildly. He's a total jerk. Oh, sorry, Kate. You know, Danny, did, did you ever think that, well, maybe he's just working on a new character and just pretending to be a jerk? Yeah, nobody's that good an actor. Hello, rescue team. Professor Baranova, what can we do for you? Well, no cause for alarm, but we had a break-in last night at the lab. What? Is everyone okay? What happened? Huh? Well, it's more baffling than anything else. Now, I'll show you what our security cameras picked up. Apparently, all the intruder did was look around and then leave with nothing. He was gone before Trex could even chase him off. He didn't even touch my Tasmanian geode collection or Ezra's atomic waffle maker. That's a mystery, all right. Sure is. That thing makes darn good waffles. Nothing taken, just like the library. Mm, doesn't look like the same guy, though. Must be connected somehow. Professor, would you like us to come over? No need. Trex is keeping an eye on things. What's that awful racket? It's disturbing my nap. You want to finally see some action? You'd better hurry. Can't you schedule these things at a more convenient time? Maven! Maven, you can ride with me. See what it feels like to be in the cab of a working fire truck. Not my kind of wheels, Clyde. Maven Danger travels in style. Oh, she's gonna love that. Car, what happened to your music player? May I assist you? Whoa, when did they give you a new voice? Me likey. Insert flash drive here. Please, that's so annoying. Excuse me? It, um, upsets the calibration of my gyro steering guidance. You know, maybe if we offered Mr. Harrison enough money, we'd get rid of his helipack for good. It would make our lives easier, but much less interesting. Snag and 
grab maneuver. Just hit the off button. No! That's so Maven! No, 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 no. Stop! Help! Cut! Maven! It's like that scene in Tomorrow's Not Yesterday with the runaway rocket, remember? Pull out the fuel cord! What's a fuel cord? <laughs> Well, it took you long enough. If I'd been injured, the studio would sue the pants off of you. Robots do not wear pants. Power up and energize. No, 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 not the face! Oh. The one time I'm not filming. To think that I ever looked up to this phony. Poor Cade. The guy really was his hero. It would be like finding out Optimus isn't really a prime. What happened? Maven was trying to help, and things went a little haywire. I'm sorry, Skip, but I can't have Maven involved in our rescue work anymore. Good. If I never see that guy again, it'll be too soon. Look, I know Maven can be a bit much, but we only have one little scene to shoot on the island. Can we please do that before we leave? I don't think it's a good... And the studio is so grateful to your family, they're offering Danny, Graham, and Cade roles in the scene, with Cody working his magic behind the camera. Really? <sighs> that would be awesome. But I thought you said... No, 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 forget what I said. This is a chance to be in a Maven Danger film with my hero. Oh, my used to be here. Well, I seem to be outvoted, so... Perfect. Call time is in half an hour. <sighs> Better make it an hour. So, here's the scene. Danny reacts, wow, as Super Agent Maven Danger pulls up in his fancy car. Graham, the valet, takes Maven's keys. Graham, you might want to lose the helmet. Then, Ninja Cade, you leap out and say to Maven, I have a message for you. And make as if you're going to attack. That's when Maven will use his special elevator shoes to bounce onto the rooftop. At least that's what it'll look like. We'll cut, and I'll use the shoes to do the stunt. See? OK? Run through it. I'll be back in a few. I need to phone the studio. Much as I hate to admit it, this is kind of exciting. Yeah, yeah, exciting. <clears throat> now, quiet. I have a note for you. I have a message for you. I have a message for you. Ah. I can't believe we weren't invited to be in the movie. I'm deducting review stars for that. Odd. Perhaps someone forgot something. Yes! Finally! Bingo! Hey, I was reading that. Unidentified intruder. Show yourself. It's me, Skip. Uh, I'm in costume to do some stunt work, and I'm um, picking up this prop to take to Maven downtown. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Dad? I was just checking on the bots. You need to see this. Um, change of plan. I need to pick up something from the ferry first. Deliver the book prop downtown. Those are my instructions. Hey, what gives? I want out. OK, Skip. This stunt is over. Hand over the book and the mask. I have no idea what you're talking about. Try this. <laughs> Guess you Burnses are smarter than you look. Thanks? Careful! Do you have any idea how rare it is? It's worth a fortune! Pilgrim's Progress, 1685? 
I learned about old books from my dad. Discovered this one was in the town library. So you broke in to steal it? Too bad it was already checked out. To Francine Green. I went to her place, but it wasn't there either. That's when you found out we were friends. And took a chance she may have lent it to you. I needed a way to get all of you out of the firehouse so I could look. And you set up this fake little film shoot. What? There's no film shoot? Dude, I rehearsed! Skip, I am disappointed. To think you brought me here for selfish reasons. I could have done all my research online in Tahiti instead of this dreary island with Clyde and the Hearns family. Burns family. That's right. The name is Burns, Cade Burns. And I have a message for both of you. When you play with the Burnses, you're gonna get burns in. That's what. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me, Skip. Try and catch me. They don't call these stunt shoes for nothing. Well, no, no, no. Put on the wrong ah! shoes! See, Maven, you can do your own stunts. High five. Now somebody get me off this crazy island. Happy to oblige. <laughs>